Update on Krishna's garden. This is Krishna's indoor um, bro room. And um, I'm a new gardener, but not all that new. This is my third year gardening. And um, before I had a brown thumb, but by the grace of Lord Krishna, I have a very green thumb now. Two of them. And it's really been such fantastic. It's been such a great, great um, ex ex experience to start you know, growing fruit trees and vegetables. It is, it's, it's, it's just fantastic. I suggest everybody do it. Before I used to just sprout. I've been sprouting all my life in uh, mason jars. But this is just like a whole nother level. I mean, it's just fantastic. Anyway, I have some bragging rights that I want to share. Um, this is, this is it, mints. Now, I started these mints from seeds, right? In trays, in jiffy trays, like this one is. So these mints are also growing pretty nicely, but I don't have the roots that I need before I transplant them. But mints, um, <clears throat> usually they, you can't grow them from seeds just in the pot that you're gonna keep them in. But I wanted to try it to cut out one of the steps. So I actually sowed mint seeds in this 32 gallon um, garbage can cut Cut in half, more than half, cut in about one third. So it's kind of small um, in com for, for mints, uh, I found out. But it should be good, pretty good. But anyway, I sowed the seeds in there. Um, I sowed about, uh, about uh, twice as much as what's seen here. So all of this is littered with seeds. All over there is littered with seeds. And only about 40% uh, came out so far. So, and that's going on uh, three weeks now. It's going on about three weeks now. So 40% is what you're seeing right now. And that's fantastic because, you know, what, uh, what mints do, they grow, they grow out this way. So they're going to cover this up anyway. So that's fantastic. So that's a little bragging right I got. And with these mints, these are my lemon mints. And what happened, I took them from the cells, right? I didn't disturb the cells. I cut uh, a garbage can that I have for a long time. This one has wheels on it, so it helps with the transport. Um, and I fill this all up with compost. Then I put the cells um, right here, and then put dirt in between, potting soil in between. And I'm watering it every day. And this has been the th third day that they're in here, so this looks like this is also a success, and this is gonna be fine. Because what happened, this is a winter estate. We're in zone 6B here in Connecticut. And I'm going to leave the mint outside. And they're going to become now perennials and no longer annuals. Because what I'm going to do is cut them down to about right here at the, in the end of the fall, before winter. And come spring again, they'll just rise back up. So that's been, that's been great. So... And I'm waiting for these to have roots. And when these have roots, I am going to go ahead and transplant them. Either in the top of this one, I would have to take, take the top down um, or glue it, whatever. And uh, then just uh, place them in there, place the dirt in there. Or I might cut another one of these, but give it more height. Um, give it a much, much more height and then sow the cells in there. So um, that's what I wanted to share. I don't want to continue this video because I don't want to be too long. So I'm going to stop it right now and continue with another video.